sometimes we ask the question, why would anybody believe that? Why would anybody want to listen to somebody who continuously lies to them and, uh, and yet believe what they're saying even though half of the things they say are lies? Well, and what, let, let me be clearer about what I mean by, by lies. Let's, let's take somebody like Rush Limbaugh, who will come out with an assertion that if anybody bothered to, they could look it up, they could do a Wikipedia on it, they could do a Google on it, and find out that what he, the statement he's making is absolutely false. Well, a lot of us know that that's the way to, to, to verify whether or not somebody is telling you a factual thing or not, or if they're making something up or pulling something out of their ass and just to, to suit themselves to, to, to make an argument. But you've got to understand why people do this. Why would they believe somebody like that? Well, the real reason is has to do with faith. And I call this whole lecture the politics of faith. This is about how people who have a natural tendency to trust something or believe in something that is entirely fictional, but because people in authority tell them that it's true, they believe it anyway. These are usually people who had trouble in school or had other problems in their lives to where they can't go out for themselves and verify and learn things, so they need to take it from authority what a particular answer is to a particular problem. This is why we have a lot of people now in this country who don't verify whether or not somebody's telling them the truth or not. They identify people that they can relate to and then they just defer to their opinions um, such as a lot of people do with people like Rush Limbaugh. Now he's not the only one. It's not just the right that does that. The left does that too. And uh, the sneaky right, like the Bill Clintons, do that too. They take issues, uh, they make statements, uh, they distract people, and 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 ultimately uh, that leads to confusion, and it leads to b people believing a lot of things they should not believe because it harms them. It takes their rights away from them. It takes their jobs away from them. It divides their families, and it makes life ultimately in the United States worse and worse and worse. That's what's happening right now. The main person who taught us all about this idea of um, uh, uh, the politics of faith is, is uh, recently anyway, now there have been people in the past that have done that. Adolf Hitler did it very well. He told the German people that it wasn't their fault that they lost the war. It was the Jews' fault. And um, so there are people like this all through history. But the person that successfully did this in the United States in the last few uh, uh, years, the last few decades, is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was a wonderful speaker. He was a very likable man, and people could identify with him. So when he said something, people believed it. It didn't matter if it was true. It didn't matter if uh, it had the ring of truth. It had the sense of truth in their mind. And again, these are people who had have problems. They're overwhelmed by things. They need an authority figure to explain things to them. These are incidentally also the kind of people who believe in a fictional being as the supreme being. So what they have to do is have somebody tell them that this being is the smartest being in the world and because uh, a lot of old men, old white men, many thousands of years ago wrote a bunch of stuff down in books um, and, and said that they uh, wrote them as, uh, 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 through that, that God wrote these books through them. If you get my idea, I'll continue this later. I've got to edit this shit. This is bad.